Okay, people, welcome back to another Foosh Weekly. As always, I'm Robo, and it's Monday. Yeah, I know. After skipping a week. Last week didn't have a lot of news, and I've been busy. I've been getting ready for convention season. But I'll talk about that after talking about some action figures, because that's what everyone's here for. Just talk about toys. So let's talk a little bit about Amazing Yamaguchi, uh, a little bit about figure arts, and some Mezco. Now, I haven't made it out to see Logan yet, <laughs> That's how busy I've been. I can't even get to the movies. But Mezco did surprise us with a 112th Collective Old Man Logan last week. They said it would be on sale today, and it's up for pre-order right now, so if you need this, go pre-order now. It does look cool. It only comes with the one head, but it comes with a baby Hulk. It comes with several hand options. Looking very nice. It's going to be $80, and it should ship sometime in December. Now, as soon as I posted the weekly, the week before last, uh, I talked about the figure arts, Pokemon, Ash, Jesse, James. Cool sets, they come individually, but there's also a Tomashi Web exclusive that includes Ash, Pikachu, Meowth, Jesse, and James. All together, plus it has an exclusive face for Ash, his crying face. Now when I looked this up on Nipponya-san, it was $40 more than the regular set, just for a face piece. Is it worth that? The figures look nice, don't get me wrong, they look beautiful, but another $40 for just a weeby face. I don't know. Looks like we're getting closer and closer to the release of the amazing Yamaguchi Venom figure. These were floating around on Twitter, uh, package pictures of Venom. Uh, I need this so bad, I need it right now. It breaks my heart that it hasn't been released yet, because this looks like it'll go perfectly with Spider-Man. But it's getting closer. <laughs> package. And then finally, in today, might as well be a quickie. It's not really a weekly. But finally, the new SH Figure Arts Star Wars figures are being displayed overseas. I'm not sure if this is the showroom or what. But as you can see here, Chewbacca is looking pretty good. Pretty good. Does his arm look thin? And it, the articulation looks weird? Kind of gappy? Now, I'm liking his height here. I know it's still a little bit short. And I know people argue about this. But it looks good here until you start looking closer and it looks like there's a gap underneath the fur of the head and then the chest, like you can see through there. Like the head is sitting up on top of the ball maybe, not snapped down or something's going on there. Are they faking the height? Because that would be weird. I'm still ordering this either way because you guys know me, I have to know. I have to get them in my hands, find out for myself. But yeah, I'm, the more I see, the weirder it is. Now like I mentioned at the first, it's going to be weird for the next couple weeks, months, I don't know. I'm hitting the road tomorrow, heading out to a convention in Salt Lake City, and I'll be back next Monday. Hopefully everything will be back to a regular schedule, at least for a week or two. Then there's Dallas, and there's the Star Wars Celebration. <sighs> I know I've been getting videos up pretty regularly. I'll skip a weekend here and there because I like sleep. So if I miss a day or two, I'll be back, I swear, because I love this shit and I love doing this. So if you like this very short, quick, to the point Foosh Weekly, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on Foosh.